What's up guys, bring you a bit of an update here. Um, this is the 40 gallon breeder that was uh, the frag tank. Um, it's still sort of the frag tank, I got some frags in there. Um, I got some rock in here that I picked up from a guy. Um, and it had a shitload of bubble algae on it. I got like um, maybe a total of around 65 to maybe 80 pounds. I didn't I didn't weigh it exactly, but it was somewhere in that range. Um, but all the rock I got from him had a ton of bubble algae on it, and you can see it here. Um, I just put this piece in here for um, this tank. Um, it's kind of like turned out to be like a test or a, a pest tank. There's a uh, aptasia anemones all over the place. There's this bubble algae. There's some funky, weird, red macro algae in here. There's some pallies on there. I got a mad baby in the background. Um, but what I did find on this uh, on this rock, kind of hidden underneath some algae that I cleaned off, was uh, some akins that were in really bad shape. But they're actually starting to uh, kind of come through, which is uh, kind of nice. Um, he also gave me this uh, Coral Beauty uh, angelfish back there. Um, I took this fish, um, the sailfin tank, out of the big tank here. Um, my powder blue is just beating the shit out of it, so uh, I took it out and put them in here. Um, and then I also acquired a, uh, a mystery wrasse right down there. I don't know if you can really make it out, but uh, made out with him. Um, I didn't even realize how expensive that fish was, but uh, I got him. So what's going on is I'm actually going to break this tank down. I got another tank that I'll show you here in just a second that I'm going to set up instead um, to put in its place. This has been a fun little thing. Um, I mean, I did a little bit more with it than what I showed on YouTube, but um, I got another tank that I'm going to put in its place, and I promise you this tank is going to, my plans for it are kind of like an epic tank. Um, not much really going on here. The tank lights are just now coming on, so it's all blue, so we're not really going to be able to make anything out, but uh, we got some coral growth happening big time in here. Um, we got a toadstool in here that I got from a guy that was selling it. I got it pretty cheap. Um, and while I was there, he asked me, do you want any more clowns? And I said, well, uh, what are you going to do with them? He was going to give them to uh, an LFS. And I told him, well, I'll take them. Um, so I got a total of six clowns in here now. Four of them are hosting this toadstool. And uh, the other two are still hosting the uh, RBTA. I've been moving coral around. I put my uh, GSP on the back uh, glass there. It used to be up on the rock. Up here you can still kind of see some straggling remnants of it. Uh, I've got a bunch of recordia up there that I found in the tank. Uh, so this tank overall is uh, doing, actually not overall, this tank is doing fucking amazing right now. Um, I hope it stays that way. I fragged some of my euphelia. You can see over here, uh, my big colony here. I cut it in half and broke it into smaller little pieces. I took my uh, my purple tips and uh, put them down over here and glued them onto a, a new piece of rock that I put in here. So the euphelia garden is just starting to, uh, I mean, that's a big that'll, that's a big euphelia garden. Right now the lights just came on so everything's not opened up. But when you look over here, when everything's opened up, it's just like this, this massive wave of euphelia. It's amazing, it looks really good. So I plan to keep on doing that, keep on fragging uh, as these start growing towards the back more. I'm fragging them because the ones that grow towards the back kind of just don't look that healthy. So I've been fragging them off and then that's what I'm doing. I'm putting them here. So, uh, you know, I'll keep extending this euphelia garden to uh, whatever level I feel <laughs> necessary. It's my tank, yo. <laughs> but uh, let me go show you this uh, other tank. Right now I got some uh, stuff happening down here. You can see I got a refugium light going on again. I'm mixing up some new salt water right now. Um, we're going to fill the refugium up, get the refugium back online, see if we can't start battling some of the shit happening up here with the algae. Uh, bubble algae, I've been uh, doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of manual removing. And um, it's starting to get, um, I guess what we would say, somewhat under control. But uh, it still sucks, you know what I mean? Picked up this chalice right here. This thing is a freaking piece right here. I'll show you guys. I'll do another update. Uh, here eventually with um, you know all the main lights on so you can see everything and uh, so what's going in the refugium is I got some, uh, some catamorpha and uh, some calerpa mexicana that we're gonna be putting in there so uh, I'm just waiting about another I don't know 45 minutes or so for this salt to mix up and then we'll uh, get that salt in there and get that refugium back online um, so yeah that's that tank there Show you guys my protein skimmer real quick. I've been getting a couple of questions. Ouch, that hurt. I've been getting a couple of questions on how the uh, Tumsy Hydroform works. What is that noise? Yeah. 
Oh, you kid. Can't even play with the mobile. Just holding on to it, stripping the gears. This is uh, this is the mini baby reefer right here. Reefer in the making. <laughs> All right, baby. So, <laughs> I'm sitting over there at the tank and I hear this pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I've been getting some questions on how this Tunzi Hydrofoamer has been working on my ASM G3 skimmer. And uh, proof's in the pudding right there. I mean, I cleaned this at, uh, I think I cleaned this Wednesday. This is my collection cup. Um, I, I promise you this shit is, is, is black. I mean, real, real black. I'm having amazing results also with the GFO and Carbon. Um, I've been catching just a little bit of flack on this thing, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, let me go turn this freaking mobile off. This kid, you guys hear that? Pop, 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 pop. Crazy kid. Let me turn it off. You having fun with that thing or what? Yeah, I can tell. How about uh, how about a turtle? How about this? All right, I gotta go show YouTube this new tank. So yeah, we're gonna break this one down. Um, probably sell it. Got a WP40 in here. That's I got another thing coming up. This uh, this uh, fucking MP10 or uh, yeah, MP10, WP10, whatever. Um. It burnt up like it, like I came into my house and it smelled like fire in here, and um, this pump wasn't working. This is like when I walked by this 40 gallon breeder, it smelled real strong here. Um, so yeah, this thing burned up, kind of sucks. So I put the WP40 in here and it uh, it rocks the living shit out of this uh, 40 breeder. Right now I got it on its lowest setting and I got the um, the uh, voltage turned down on it. Let's go take a look at this other tank though. I'm so excited about this tank. This will be edited. All right. Let me turn on this here. All right. This room is a is a disaster. I have some stuff that I use for work, and I have aquarium stuff. I've been going through some aquarium stuff. You never realize how much crap you accumulate until you start looking at it all and organizing it. But I mean, I got coral supplements all up here. Some Fosman. I kept buying Microbacter, thinking I was out, but I found three bottles. Um, some some uh, carbon. I have a whole bunch of chemi pure that I forgot I had. I got all these dosing elements, so I think I'm starting to get everything organized for the aquarium. I got some silicone back there left over from my tank build. But anyways, let's get back to the point at hand here. This is the sump for the new tank here. It's a nice acrylic sump. Uh, this little area right here is a refugium slash um, like skimmer area, right? So um, that'll be a pretty sweet little sump. But uh, let me see if I can. Uh, crawl over all this shit real quick let me show you I got some school work in here too but uh, here's this new tank right here it's a 65 gallon tall it's basically got the same footprint as the uh, 40 breeder except it's like a lot taller um, so I picked this up <coughs> right now I got a uh, um, power compact and uh, uh, power compact and metal halide the hood is retrofitted with a bunch of uh, T5HO fixtures. I don't think I'm going to go the T5HO route. Um, I think I'm actually going to use the uh, middle halide on this uh, tank. Let's see if we can see this thing getting warmer. Just turn the halide bulb on. Um, this tank, obviously, I have a ton of cleaning to do on. It's uh, It was a neglected tank. A uh, guy on Reef Central was saying, um, you know, I'm giving this tank away for free. First come, first serve. So, uh... Luckily, I was the first one to get a hold of this guy, and um, I told him, you know, I can come get this thing whenever you want. And he said, uh, well, if you can make it first before anybody else that contacts me, you can have it. So I went over there at like 11 o'clock at night, and it took about an hour and a half to break the tank down. Um, you know, all the water, the live rock. That's where I got all that nasty-ass live rock from. Um, so, yeah, obviously a ton of work needs to be done in this tank. That halide is starting to really warm up real nice. But uh, I have I have epic epic plans for this tank. This is gonna be like a, a second little show tank. Wife is on board with it. I actually have the time now to put into these tanks. Um, working just about as much as I have been before, but um, I'm just managing my time a little differently. I guess you could say. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, I'm definitely putting in my my uh, my work on these tanks. 
But, uh, yeah, when I came on over there, he gave me some equipment, too, and he had two MP40, or, uh, yeah, uh, MP40s on the tank, the Ecotech ones. And um, at first, he was like, yeah, you can have the uh, the Vortec pumps, too, because uh, I don't plan on getting in the hobby anytime soon. He was getting rid of it because he was uh, getting divorced. He's like, I don't, I don't plan on getting in the hobby anytime soon. He's like, you can have the pumps, too. I'm like, get the hell out of here, man. But uh, he ended up keeping them because he thought that he might do something later on down the road and didn't want to have to rebuy it. But yeah, this is going to be the new tank that we're going to put in place that 40 breeder. And I'm telling you guys, um, this is going to be an epic tank. I just got some uh, stuff I want to get for it. I'm going to take my time getting it cleaned up. It looks like I'm going to have to do, probably not going to show up on camera, but uh, there are some scratches in the acrylic that I want to get cleaned up. So um, I'm going to do that first. Um, you know, polish this thing and all that fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to do now. So, anyways, guys, just a little bit of an update there on uh, what's going on. It's going to probably be a little bit before I bring another video. I will be making videos as I get this thing going, but, uh, you know, it's going to be a long process. I kind of want to do, like, a time lapse slash, you know, speeding up kind of thing um, and kind of make it all into one building or one building, <laughs> one uh, one video, um, you know, from start to finish till we get water in this thing. So uh, this is going to take me, like, a month or so. So it's going to be a while before I get a video back out again. Um, I still have that review coming up on the RW15s. I'm just trying to use them a little bit longer to uh, get a real good opinion on it. So, uh, anyways, guys, we will see you here in a little bit with another update. Later.